Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to episode 41 of Let's Play Stone Legion Adventures. And here we are, um, at our pace. Here we are, where we always are. And today we're going to play with Tesserax. Oh, because I like Tessa. And <laughs> uh, we're going to like pump some oil. We're going to do some oil pumping big time today. Today is pump it real good. And oh yeah, we were playing with this grid last time, thinking there was a chunk issue, and I was totally noob about our tanks. So let's, I guess we should go down and see what our tank level is before we go here. What the? That was just weird. Okay, so our level right now is 634 buckets. We're going to see what happens when we put Tessa on this. It's like one week later. We'll get there. Oh crap. So what we're going to do is we're going to literally take out one of these and we're going to put this here. And let's hope this is not already... Oh god. Is it set to private already? Maybe this will be faster than we thought it was. Do you think this is even working or send only? Oh, well, that's why. Uh, actually, it looks like it might be jumping faster. Energy mode receive only. I think it's working. Actually, yeah, I think it is working. It's hard to tell, honestly, though. Uh, ignore. Oh. But now. Sorry to tell. What happens if we just turn this off? Like, cancel it. 3, 6, 9, 12, 5. Eh. Oh, it's BC power. You know what? I understand now. Okay, so you can't convert RF directly into BC power with a Tesseract. You actually have to, unfortunately, do something like, oh my god, I didn't think I could do it this far, but okay, you need to use a conduit, and I don't think we need one of these, but let's get it anyway, it's a crescent hammer, and let's try this. That's what was going on here, I forgot all about this. This pipe basically can convert into BC, but you must do it at this pipe level, I don't know if it's a a coder reason for this or they did it for fun or who knows but just letting you know that's how it works so now if we go like this and say accept this thing probably will start tanking oh yeah look at that oil it probably is gonna build up faster than it can oh no it's keeping up wow okay we definitely gotta go check this out this is gonna be insane we'll probably like get there and it'll already be empty so this is our new method of getting oil. <laughs> Just throw a Tesseract AFK for like a half an hour and come back. Now, when it goes down the spout, you know how it shoots up in the air and all that fun stuff? That will still take a long time. But there you go. One bucket, two buckets, three buckets, four buckets, five buckets, six buckets, seven buckets. It's pretty decent speed now. Um... So, now that we have that, I guess our next uh, little challenge, or it's not really a challenge, but our, our next little job that we'd like... Wait, is that it? Did we actually go through all that oil? Or is it going down? Okay, so what could be happening is, because you know how it, the oil's in layers and goes down? Yeah, that's what was happening. So I had to go down the next layer and the next layer. So it does still take time when it does do it, but... Okay, so now what we're going to do is we need to start manufacturing some of this power... Um, I guess we could still go with steam, but I'm, I'm getting a little tired of the steam, honestly. Um, I'm actually thinking of doing this a little bit differently. I could actually do IC. It's not a bad idea, honestly. Recycle IC power. Huh. I think I'm going to do combustion engines. They're fun to do anyways. Combustion. Uh, combustion. I don't actually have combustion engines. Have I never made combustion engines on here? So this is like de default BC. Why don't we go and do that for fun, right? Um, let's type engine. I want to see all the different engines before we even do that. So you got your BC combustion engine, Sterling engine, Redstone engine, Clockwork engine. Whoa. Uh, biogas engine, peat fired engine, electricity, electrical engine, 
electrical engine, electric engine, um, industrial engines, and you can just go down and down the list. So just your, your standard energy engines. Um, combustion engine is pretty cheap and easy to make. Uh, and I think that's the one we're going to go with. So let's type in combustion. And we're going to do a bunch of these, actually. So let's see how many we can make with shift-click. Thankfully, not too many. <laughs> that would have been pretty deadly, honestly. Let's do... Oh, well, that's good. I can't make a stack of gears if we don't have a stack of stone. So that's going to save us. And... I just made 22 iron gears. I really just did that. Okay, so ooh, we need more pistons. Let's shift click on the pistons. I'm getting low on iron though. 300, is that iron? No, that's aluminum. Uh, iron is, ooh, 127, oh my. I'm actually really low on iron. That's all right, it just means I need to do a bit more mining. Um, hmm. Okay, that's probably way too many combustion engines, but I'm gonna do it anyways. We're going to work our way down. And then we're going to set up a farm, basically, of combustion engines all the way down here. Uh, but before we do that, we need, we need to make reservoirs. And they're going to cost us a little bit more because I don't... Do we have that thing on here? I don't think so. Smelter of some sort. or Yeah, this thing. This is what we need to make. And by the way... Remember this wastes power, so let's cut it off. And this is powering up. Okay, so we want to make, I'm going to make those, I like them the best anyways, that's why I'm going to make them. Those uh, reservoirs, reservoir, reservoir. It's like a French word for reservoir. Okay, so you need quartz, nether quartz, lots of it. So that's easy, nether quartz come in plenty. Oh, and this one can't do more than a bunch at a time too, so it's a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, we might as well go like this. And... Is our hopper from before? There we go. Might as well go like this. Just put that in there and start making a bunch of this. This will take a while. So we have a lot here. What mod is that? Ender IO. Uh, Ender IO Smelter. I'm just going to see if there's any hints or information about there being some kind of overclock in it. Uh, that little thing that does look like an overclock is called upgrade slot. So there is an upgrade. I was hoping for such a thing. Upgrade. Uh, how much internal with a capacitor upgrade solar? Where you place a capacitor for upgrading energy storage space and process speed? Only double layered or better will work. Uh, what? I want to know more about that. Where you place capacitor for upgrading energy storage and processing speed? I don't know what it means by double layered, but there is a link to it, so we'll figure it out. Oh. Huh, okay. Maybe we can figure this out. Let's go to Ender IO. There's like space IO, I think, anyways. There we go. So, double layered basic capacitor. So, I guess this is it. Um, so, let's create a couple of these. Let's create six of them. I don't know how many we needed. And let's create three of these. Oh, and they stack. I was wondering if that was possible. So, let's see what happens here. Let's put one of these in. Let's put three of them in. Do you think it's working faster? Actually, I think it might be. There's only one way to find out if it really is working faster. There we go. We'll make ten of them. Oh, oh, that's not electric steel. Actually, that works well. <laughs> that's no resource I haven't used for anything. It's not going faster. No. 
Actually, it was going faster. There's a cap, though. And it's only one circuit, isn't it? Oh, it might be a bit more, but yeah. Oh, well, it's it's working. So we do know there's a an upgrade for that. That's kind of cool. Didn't even know about the... I have a nice little wiki. Um, you can just go wiki.enderio.com. Uh, anyways... I was actually looking at some of this down the road. I wanted to try making one of these later. A capacitor bank. Uh, basically, it stores power, I believe. A uh, block capable of storing 250,000 MJ with maximum power outflow of 10... Or Yeah, so that's not bad. A capacitor can, consisting of 8 uh, blocks have a maximum uh, storage of power of 2 million MJ with a maximum power out is 800... Uh, MJ. Wow, that is cool. Okay, so um, let's take some of this glass, which we should have enough to craft, and we need to make our fun uh, crucible thingy-mabopper cauldron. There we go. And let's go ahead and put you in there, and let's just shift-click you, and there we go. That makes six, actually. How many of these do we have? Eight? That's going to make us six slots. Oh, crap. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do something a little crazy here. I think I should do it over here in case if it blows, but okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I was thinking of doing like this. Actually, we're going to have to go down one more layer, won't we? There we go. Oh, yeah, they're doubled. I forgot about that. That's not going to work well, will it? Because it's like this, right? And then... Derp. Forgot all about that. <laughs> we still have to wait a bit. Look at our oil coming in. Wow. So we've had a lot of buckets of oil out of that. So oil is actually not too bad to get. I'm actually surprised. But still, like, if we were to make a one of those large boilers and ran this, uh, this here... And this is after we process it all into fuel. You have to remember, you have to do the same equivalent. Uh, 1,500 to do the largest size boiler. It's not really good power. It's funny how you can see the uh, strip over there. It's a bug, I think. Or maybe it's not a bug. I don't know if that's a feature or what. But you shouldn't be rendering that far. So let's go back up, I guess. And... Oops. Get a bucket, I guess. Bucket. Just make sure there's not another reservoir here. Okay, so I guess bucket of water. Um, let's get this bucket of water. There we go. And just grab it from here. Of course, we want one too high. Oh, there we go. And let's see what we have here. Oh, nice. You get an EXP from that. I'm a cheater. Wait, wasn't that? Oh, yeah, of course we need to make our cauldrons. This is when we're going to have some problems, because I'm actually getting low on iron. If you can figure that. That's the bothersome part here. It's like the iron is running out. There you go. We'll do two more, and this should work. So let's go ahead and put this in here, and then put this one in here. And then what we can do is let that go up, and then put you in there. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the last two of these. Um... Wait, did I need two or four? It's just two, right? Or I'm actually not quite sure. I'll have enough to make four, so we'll just do that. Waste our resources, shall we? Yeah, it was just two more. Oh well. There we go. And let's throw you in there. Actually, we might use you anyways. 
and put the buckets in there and then you need to take your hammer don't forget and wrench these just so it knows the up position just like I am every morning don't ask why I just said that and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this and two of these should be more than enough to run this and that we don't want to happen uh, we can change that up and actually I wonder yeah I guess these work fine on those other yeah that would make sense it would work so let's see conduit I think you could just use these still so that's beautiful there you go and we just go like this we're gonna have to fix these up though there you go and just wrench these up oh no Huh. I take that back. You might not be able to wrench these because of the type they are. Oh well. That's fine. We'll just have to go to step five. Or plan five or whatever five. And we're just going to go ahead and make a BC pipe. So we're just going to type pipe. And there's a bunch of BC pipes. We're going to make an electric pipe. I don't know if there's a special electric pipe. This is usually what you do. The wooden kinesis pipe. Uh, I don't think there is any new kind of kinesis pipe. Power input. Oh, emerald fluid pipe, huh. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so let's just do that then, shall we? Um, wooden kinesis pipe, which require wooden pipes, which we probably don't have any. So we need to make a wooden pipe, which is just like this. And then we go ahead and put the redstone to it, and there we go. And then we're going to probably want gold in Kinesis Pipe, which is 256, which is perfect. There's a diamond version now. Interesting. I wonder if there's a wiki on this. Uh, there, I mean, there is, but I want to know if energy loss is better with a diamond one or not. Pipes. Uh, diamond. doesn't say oh okay it says gold on here and this is with golden diamond conductive pipe on here this is the same thing but yeah I guess the gold ones are the best so let's go with gold um, I'm used to using gold. Oh, I forgot there's a switch one you can make now. We can look into that later, but here we go. Golden Kinesis, and let's make the gold pipe first. And we're probably going to need a couple of these, so let's just do with a bunch of them. There we go, and let's create a bunch of them. Perfect. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and go back down here, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to take these wooden pipes like this, and we're gonna wrench these puppies like such. There we go. Oh, perfect. And these will all join in, or you'll die. Watch the server have crashed. No, I didn't. That would do sucked. Uh, I should connect, but it doesn't want to connect. I don't know why. It's a bug. Oh crap. Server didn't crash. These are just acting up. Let's try placing these. Oh, here we go. So they were just bugged engines to begin with. Interesting. Okay, so uh, these pipes don't connect at all to the, each other. So what you're going to want to do is hook them up like so. And then you're going to want to make a refinery system. Well, we already have one refinery. Um, actually, one might be enough. I forget, but if I recall, they were pretty good back in the day. Uh, do we have any kind of fuel? I remember we left fuel in a container, but portable port tank. Where's all my portable tanks? Oh, here's one. Uh, I have an idea what we can do though. 
I didn't mean to click that. Oh, this is my portable tank that I was looking for anyways. Uh, there you are. What we can do is drain it from the system just like this. It's not a lot, but it will drain what's in these pipes here. And that'll be more than enough for us. I can't believe this is still activated. Activated. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this off. Enough for a couple buckets full too, which will get our system going. And oh my. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and place this down on the ground. And it has 16 buckets worth, which will make this a lot easier to do. And damn, it's easier to do like this, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And now uh, we want to build a refinery. Well, let's go and demolish the one we had up there, I guess. Uh, we'll do some of the oil, but that's not really like what we're doing here. It's going to be nothing compared to what we're going to get. There we go. And let's go ahead and place this refinery, I guess, right here. I guess it doesn't really matter, though. Uh, we're trying to get over there. I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go ahead and place it right here. And then we can put these kinesis pipes right to it. And this should, oh, this has a max MJ. Trigger 25, max power 150. These do, I think, eight or six or so with fuel. So actually, this won't be too bad. Um, so before we trigger this up, I actually want to use something a little different if we can. Uh, we've been using, we could use red stone, but I want to see red uh, cabling of some sort. We have a couple of mods that can do that now, like this. And I think it's time we try this out. Red cabling alloy, or whatever you call it there. Which is, thanks to Red Logic, which is an Imbus mod, which I wish more people would support his mod. <sighs> support his mod. I like the guy. He deserves more hugs and support. Uh, doo -doo. There we go. And this puppy, we can just go like this and put these right, right across like this. And it will go up the walls and up anywhere you want. It doesn't... It sticks on the pipes. That's probably more BCs and then that mod's fault, but whatever. And uh, we can put a lever here. And there you go. Look at this. These will start producing energy and beam themselves up. This puppy is getting a lot of energy, so it's like, okay, now what we want to do is right-click, right-click, and see how fast it can produce that. My goodness. I don't think we're overpowering it, I hope not. Huh. I may have to learn about this a bit more. This is a max power 150. Six, 12, 24, uh, 36. This is trigger is at 25. Hmm. Either way, it already made, I think, a bucket. Is that a bucket? Yeah, there you go. So it just made a bucket like that. How awesome is that? So that's one bucket of fuel now in just pretty much a heartbeat. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to want to pump this all stuff down in here. So we're going to look into fluid ducts. And we had some before. These are the ones that you can see. How did we accidentally even make these originally? I don't think they were an accident. There's something wrong with that. But <laughs> I feel like it was like a conspiracy. Uh, rate of uh, planning contents cannot see, install, blah, blah, blah. So basically, these ones are nicer because you can't see them. Um, but I'm not sure how we ended up with a whole stack of them like that before. Like, not stack, but a bunch of them. Um, it's probably, eh, you know what, I like looking at them sometimes. I'll do them for now, but you might want to change them. might cause you a bit more lag if you uh, keep them there. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this go like this. And this should connect. No. I guess you need to have, and I forget what it's called. That must be what that thing is up there, but to suck it out, I guess. Uh, what do you call it? Um, no, not a gauge. 
Railcraft. I guess it's just the other. It's just that one block. Um, for some reason, I thought there was three different ones, but I guess it's just the uh, the valve. It makes sense. Must be in the bo must be in bottom two layers to output liquid. Oh, the bottom two layers. So we should probably bring this down one more layer. Actually, that would make it look nicer anyway. So let's do that. Um, do, 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 do. There we go. Whee. There we go. So we just go like this. And then um, we need to put a gauge here. So you can actually break this temporarily. I mean, as much as it sounds like, oh my god, what, you, what did you do? It's fine, and not a gauge, uh, valve or whatever, valve. Valve, maybe, not valve. Okay, and you put this in, and it will reform. Woo, you don't have to worry. What, we're already at, two. look how much oil's in there. I can't, I can't believe how much oil's in there. And we're gonna right click this, and then we need a lever, a lever. Oh God, let's put away that mining laser. If I misclicked, that would be the end of the world for me. Because I would cry and kill myself. There we go. And actually, um, let's put it up here. And this is not working, so I'm not happy with this. This is a fluid duct, and it should be working. Huh. Oh, bottom two. You know what? I think I know why now. As much as I feel like that was the bottom two, I don't think it is. I think this is considered the bottom here. That's the bottom two. And the next one would be the very bottom, I think. I could be wrong. It froze up there for a second, and like my heart and everything sunk. I was like, that's it. I have decided to eat bleach today. Do you like my colorful ways? Okay, let's put this puppy on here. Right click. Oh my god, I got so many of them on here now. And switch this on. And there we go. And she is out for the, the games, or on for the games, or you know what I mean. Beautiful. Can't believe how much oil this has. Wow. Okay, so these are running at optimal performance, I guess, for some. Oh, I doubt it would work back there. I highly doubt uh, You imagine I could put those back there. I might have to change this up a bit, because I want to actually put piping into these now, um, which are, is going to require me to change the setup anyways. Because we're going to want to take this fuel and pump it into here, and then out, and yeah, it's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. I could either do it in the wall, and this is going to make things look ugly. Or do it, did I just, I hate how I do that all the time. There you go. Either the wall at the back, or, hey, you're all supposed to be off, not just one. I'm trying to think how I want to do this. I'm going to say I'm going to want to do it right back here. I'm going to do that. I don't care what somebody says. It's going back there, guys. There we go. We'll just have to adjust this to make it a little prettier later. Oh, actually, I have a way to do this. And it's going to work perfectly because of Imbus, my boss. or Actually, no, I don't, may not even need his mod. Sorry, Imbus. Uh, but anyways, I have an idea of how we can do this. So we're going to put the fluid ducts, blah, 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 back here. And we're just going to put these. These will be the inserters. And uh, honestly, it's going to come from the back, I think. The back rear. Hmm, do I want it in the back? Sure, why not? We're going to go like this. And ooh, these two cannot cross. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't have to worry. They won't cross. Actually, they will cross but we can fix it here. They're gonna cross no matter what, but I can fix it once it does cross. Okay, watch this. So what we can do here is I think we can, nope, never mind. they're gonna cross. 
So we just need to go up sooner than later. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go up, 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 up. And then what we're going to do is you're going to now suck out. Don't worry, you've been doing that for years. And you're going to fill these puppies up. So I wonder if this is going to jump for us. I'm hoping it will jump right behind there for us. And it did. And it should. Actually, I don't believe it does that anymore. Actually, you know what? It did do it. Okay, it does it evenly. That's good. I was wondering if it did that still, but uh, I thought maybe it wasn't, but it does still do it evenly. And then we can cover that up. And then basically all I'm going to do is basically take these and pipe them over there. And we'll do a bit more after. So, yeah, I think that's good for this episode. I'll just do some cleaning. I will show you my cool idea later on. And uh, so we can hide and cover some of this up. But I guess I better put this back on anyways. Got a business to run here. There we go. And, yeah, we'll play definitely more of this. So from here, it's going to fill these up. And then, of course, we're going to want to fill more up over here. So... Um, I'll just take a piping and put it underground, I guess. Like, after it fills these up, I guess I can go over there or whatever. We'll do something like that. Uh, actually, if it does it evenly, I might just pipe it from here and right into the back there. We'll find out what I do anyways. Or ender tank. Yeah, maybe I'll just do an ender tank. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll just do an ender tank. That way it's a bit wireless and it'd be a fun method of doing it. Either way, we'll figure it out. And thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. And I see you guys and girls next time.